And welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. In this video, I'm going to be going through this question, which is a question requested by one of the viewers on the channel. And this question is from one of the old papers from June 2013. It's a Mechanics M1 paper from the Edexcel GCE collection. And it's about a car, it's question number five from this paper. A car is traveling along a straight horizontal road. The car takes 120 seconds to travel between two sets of traffic lights, which are 2,145 meters apart. The car starts from rest at the first set of traffic lights and moves with a constant acceleration for 30 seconds until its speed is 22 meters per second. The car maintains this speed for T seconds. The car then moves with constant deceleration, coming to rest at the second set of traffic lights. Sketch in the space below the, a speed time graph for the motion of the car between the two sets of traffic lights. Okay, so what I've got to do here now is I've got to make a speed time graph to show this information. Now the speed time graph here is going to be the speed time graph Okay. Have on the axis, the y axis is going to be the speed in meters per second, and on the x axis, you're going to have the time in seconds. So you have meters per second and seconds. That's right. So this is your speed. In meters per second and this is your time seconds so now the car starts from rest okay it starts from rest okay so it starts from this point here zero times time is zero speed is zero okay it moves with constant acceleration for 30 seconds for 30 seconds okay and it reaches a speed of 22 meters per second. Let's say that's 22 meters per second. And let's say that's 30 seconds. Okay, so let's just do it like this to make it clear. So 30 seconds, 22 meters per second, right? So it's going to go like this. Okay, that's. 30 seconds, it's got to 32 meters per second. And then it says it maintains the speed for T seconds. So it maintains the speed for T seconds. Okay, until it's reached, the time has now reached um, T plus 30, basically. Let me just do it this way. Okay, so just say it's got to that point now. And that that time will be third. That's t seconds. So this is going to be t plus thirty seconds, whatever t is. And then it moves with constant deceleration, coming to rest at the second set of traffic lights. So we don't know much about this other part here. We'll just draw it in. Okay. We don't know if it's decelerating because we don't know what t is. So we'll just we can put anything here. So until it. So this is going to be at one hundred and twenty seconds. Okay, because it's taken one hundred twenty seconds. For it to take the whole journey, all right? The whole journey takes 120 seconds, so that's 120, that's 30 seconds, that's t plus 30, that, that time between that, that is t, that's 22 meters per second. So we have sketched the speed time graph to show the information that they gave us. Okay, we know that the total distance is 2,145 meters, that's the area under the whole thing. Okay, now, for part b, it says find the value of t. So we're gonna use the fact that they told us something important here, that the distance traveled is 2,145 meters. Okay, so I know that the area under this curve, I know that the, the distance, sorry about that, get back to my normal pen, the distance traveled is, as we mentioned, 2,145 meters. 2,145 meters, and that is the area Okay, under this this uh, graph, 
So this graph is the shape of a trapezium. And the area of a trapezium is given by the formula h over 2. This is the way I like to memorize it anyway. h over 2 times a plus b, where h stands for the distance between the parallel sides. In this case, it is like, uh, you know, the height, you could say this. That's the distance between the parallel sides, because these, these are the two parallel sides. And a stands for one of the parallel sides. So a stands for, for example, this side. And B would be the other parallel side, which would be this side here. So our H is equal to 22. Our A is equal to, well, that's T. Won't go like this for T seconds. And our B is equal to the total time underneath, which is 120 seconds. So we can say that using this formula for the area of a trapezium, we can say that the it's up an equation here, you can say that um, h, which is 22 over 2, times a, which is t, plus b, which is 120, is equal to 2,145. Right? And then that gives you 11 times um, t plus 120 equals 2,145. So we can say t plus 120 is equal to 2,145 divided by 11. So we can take the calculator. So we have 2,145 divided by 11. Which gives you 195. So T plus 120 equals, what was that, 195. So therefore we can say that T is equal to 195 minus 120. Okay, which is 75 seconds. Okay. So that's the value of T. So it took 75 seconds, which is a minute and 15 seconds for it to reach um, the other traffic light. Okay, so that was the time. Uh, no, no, sorry. The, sorry, what I'm saying. The time, the T doesn't sound like that. The t the t was 120 seconds. We know that already. Okay. The T was the time for which it was going at constant speed. Okay, which was up there. All right, so there's the answer. Part B, it says, uh, sorry, part C. A motorcycle leaves the first set of traffic lights 10 seconds after the car has left the first set of traffic lights. The motorcycle moves from rest with a constant acceleration, A meters per second squared, and passes the car at the point which is 990 meters from the first set of traffic lights. When the motorcycle passes the car, the car is moving with a speed of 22 meters per second. Okay, so now what we have here is the, the motorcycle starts at 10 seconds and it passes the car, all right? So that means it's traveled the same distance as a car. Let me just move this down a bit so that space. Okay, so it's traveled the same distance as a car, okay, by the time it reaches the point P. Now, so this is the motorcycle. So it passes the car at the time when the car is traveling at 22 meters per second, which is basically what it means is it doesn't pass it somewhere over here. It doesn't pass it when it's over here. It passes it somewhere in this region here. Okay, it doesn't say the motorcycle reaches 22 meters per second. Okay, of course, it must go more than 22 meters per second for it to have reached a or reached the same um, distance as the car at that, in that time. Okay, so it must have traveled more than 22 meters uh, per second, higher speed than that, right? It's because it's going to, the area between 10 seconds and whatever this time is, which we have to find, okay, is the area under this, this, this triangle that's going to form is equal to the area of the trapezium. So basically, there's a point that it's going to reach, okay, which is over here, where at this time, let me call this small t, at this time, okay, the area of the trapezium and the area of the triangle are the same. Okay, so in this time, um, and, that, and that time is when okay, the distance is 
So we can say at t seconds, at t seconds, okay, the um, the distance travelled, the distance is 990 metres, as I said in the question. Okay, so it passes the car point, which is 9, 9, 990 metres from the first set of traffic lights. Okay, so we know that the area under this tri triangle and the area of this trapezium are both the same 990 at that time. So what we could do here is we could say, all right, let's work out what that time is. Okay, so um, for example here, I know that we, we can say that this trapezium, if we just look at the car's journey, we can use the car, car's journey to find that thing. From here to there is t, from there to there is t minus 30. Okay, because from this is 30 over here, right? So that's t minus 30. We know that's 22. So we can say that 22 over 2 times t plus t minus 30 is equal to 990. So that's 11 times 2t plus or minus 30, sorry. Minus 30 is equal to 990. We can divide both sides by 11, in which case we're going to have a 990 divided by 11, which is 90. So we have 2t minus 30 equals 990 divided by 11, which is um, 90. So we can say 2t is equal to 120. So t is equal to 60 seconds. So from here to here is 60 seconds. From the beginning, from O to there, 60 seconds. So it's, the question we're asked to find is, find the time it takes for the motorcycle to move from the first set of traffic lights to the point A. So the motorcycle started at 10 seconds. It was at the first set of traffic lights in 10 seconds. And it's, t, it's, it, it's, um, it's reached the same place as the car when it is now 60 seconds. So it's taken it 50 seconds. So the time taken for the motorcycle. So motorcycle takes takes 60 minus 10, which is 50 seconds, okay? So that's how we can deal with that, that question, part C. And part D, it says, find the value of A. What is A? A is the acceleration of the motorcycle. Okay, the acceleration of the motorcycle, right? So what do we know about the um, motorcycle? Well, we don't know its speed. Okay, we don't know it's uh, the we don't know it's yeah we don't know it's speed at t seconds, but we know that. Oh, let's have a look. If we look from the graph, we know that this is uh, fifty. We want to find a? We don't know what that is. Okay, but what do we know about it? Let's have a look. Um, let's think about Subat. It's going constant acceleration. Okay, we know. The distance is travelled is 990. Yes, I know the area under this is 990. That's, that's something that I do know. Okay. Uh, we know that the initial speed is zero. We know the final speed. Well, we don't know it. The acceleration is what we have to find. And the time it takes is 50 seconds. So from this, we've got... We're going to find the value of A. So we need to use A, V, U, S... Uh, well, not V, A, T, U, and S. So we can use S equals U, T, plus a half A, T squared. Okay, U, T plus a half A, T squared. And that will give us the acceleration. So we know U is zero, so S is 990. That's going to become zero plus a half times A times T, which was 50 squared. So that we can with this we can find what A is. Okay, we're going to multiply by 2, so 990 times 2 divided by 50 squared, and that's what's going to be the acceleration. Okay, so we can take that, we can put that in the calculator, we can say 990 times 2 over 50 squared, which is 99 over 120, 125, which gives us Let's see what that rounds to. 0 0.792. We can leave it like that. It's an exact answer. Meters per second squared. Okay, so there we have the answer to this question. Question number five from the June 2013 um, GCE Mechanics M1 paper. Okay, so um, 
Yeah, we could have also done this. I'm sh I'm thinking uh, also by using the fact we know the area. Of course, equations of motion are based on the graphs anyway, but I think it's easy to use equations of motion here. Okay, but we could have done this, I think, based on the fact that we know the area and we could have then found out what this this height is, which is at a half times the base, which is 50 times the height equals 990. So we could find what the height was, which would be the final speed. Okay, so you could have then use the final speed minus the initial speed. Okay, um, divided by the time. Okay, we could have worked out. Anyway, but anyway, this is probably easy to deal with um, because we have super equations, quantum acceleration, that's fine. So other questions from this particular paper, June 2013, can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of, um, I guess, trouble graphs, okay, can be found in this constant acceleration trouble graphs in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And you can watch this video here that tells you how to navigate through my channel to find things that might be useful for you. Thank you for watching and see you soon.